I cannot believe Kafka said that out loud. Mina, I'm coming for you in front of the entire cohort where we're listening to her give a speech. But she did smile. She did smile. And he is like comedic relief. So actually, it's, I think it's going to work out in our favor. Last episode was basically getting introduced to our dormitory life. Everyone's going through like a little bit of a training boot camp. And we're getting to know each other. But the vice, not the vice president, but like the second in command, the guy that doesn't open his eyes and has like a bowl cut, he says something that's very interesting that I didn't really think about. And it's that don't get too close to something because like you never know like how many people that's going to die. Like if you get close to people already, like how are you going to feel when they inevitably die? I'm sure he's had to see so many different people die as the new courts come in and go out, right? So I didn't think about that aspect. And knowing that this show is a shonen, would they be willing to kill off characters that easily? If this was more of a seinen, then I could believe it. But like, bro, I, I, I don't know if they'd be willing to drop people just like that. But if they did, it would be very interesting. Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. Operation Room. We're in the middle of a mission, yeah? Is Kafka gonna have a chance to pop off today? Shit your pants, kid! JSDF. So what the fuck is the military here good for? In Gate, yes, JSDF hard carries. But like in this show, we're up against Kaiju. So like a resolution, good call, good call, good call. Thank you, thank you for call back. So like, good job, good job, good job. I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful that you guys are keeping me accountable. Thank you, appreciate it for the tags. But like, what is the JSDF fucking good for? Other than just like handling evacuations. Can their weapons like help against the Kaiju? I, this is the way I'm thinking. You know, in solo leveling, the hunters are the one doing this shit. But the cops are just kind of outside keeping people at bay. I'm assuming it's the identical role here where these people are just doing crowd control. And then the actual monster defense force shows up and kills the kaiju. I don't know. Where's Itami? Itami's not here, bro. You think he wants to fucking work? He's going out buying his fucking figurines. <laughs> Whoa, what is that thing? Like a mushroom. It's looking like today's episode's gonna be action packed, though, yeah? I wonder if Mina will just hard carry today and Kafka doesn't get a chance. Huh! <laughs> That's kind of cool. The, the, the street lights, they have an extra thing. You know, it's usually green, red, and yellow or something, but they got a kaiju street light. Okay, okay. Oh shit, it's our squad! Good luck. Wonder if Kafka will do anything. Is he sleeping? Is bro nodding off? Okay, he's here, he's here. Dude. Kakuru has so much expectations of Kafka. She's probably one of the only few people that doesn't underestimate him, huh? Only because obviously he she's shown her what he can do, but like it's it's cool to see like how much the prodigy here respects Kafka, who seems to be just a washed boomer that everyone doesn't really take too seriously, but is it Kikuru? I thought it was Kakuru. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Opening! <laughs> Did he just puke? <laughs> Alright, a bunch of evacuees. What is that mushroom-like thing that just sprouted? Alright, we're the Hoshina Platoon. Hoshina is the vice commander, right? Damn, dude. That thing thick. But if Kafka just like transformed and just like punched it, wouldn't it just like... You know, it just get disintegrated. But obviously, we can't just do that. Right? Wonder if the gas is lethal. Show me what she got, but also, I want to see what this guy has. Because a lot of people have been glazing Mr. Oshino for like, I don't know how many episodes this is now. Like five or six. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Everyone's like cheering. He could have like, I don't give a f Fuck, y'all you fucking peasant are gonna get in my way. Kafka's gonna be moral support and comedic relief. Right. More people. What's Captain Ashiro gonna do? Alright. 
I just don't feel like, like, what can he accomplish in human form, though? He's just so limited. He needs to pop off in monster form and then have someone that's, you know, like Hoshina or, you know, fucking Ashino or, or yeah, yeah, exactly. That Mina to, like, vouch for us because there's no shot he can just, like, prove to them and then join us a full squad, right? How far is the knowledge really going to go? Hey, I mean, let's see it. But besides supporting utility, that's not a flag, right? That's 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 not a flag, right? We're not getting baited, and then everyone's just gonna fucking die in the first round. Now, could you imagine if Kaiju Eight went in a direction of like having it be kind of hopeful and happy, and then they kind of slowly talk about people dying, and in the first fucking squad, like everyone fucking gets wiped? That would be insane. But I doubt a Shonen Jump series would do that. I don't think so. Look at these mushroom crabs. Good luck, everybody. Everybody jumps down before. And then Bro's like, let's do it. Uh, wait, guys, guys, guys. Uh, can, can, can you hold up? Hold up, guys. Why are you going so fast? Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, Mina. Snipe. We did see her use like a big beam attack before or something, right? So like Mina's role is to just like snipe? What? Wait, 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 what is this? So JSTF also provides artillery support like that, okay? This is the uh, iron pegasus that they were used to talk about in gate, right? Unfortunately, JSDF tech is not as effective, like in Gates. Who are you talking to? Kafka? Are you telling me bro is not like peak performance today? He's, he's kind of hyping me up. This is one of the moments, like, I feel strangely calm. It's such a cliche line that happens in such tense moments where a main character is about to, like, enter some kind of, like, zen-like zone mode. And then he's, like, he's just, like, peak performance. He's just, like, locked in. Use all that 1%, bro. You hyping me up, man. Let's see it. Oh! Oh! Of course they fucking faded us. What? The music was swelling up too. The soundtrack was on point. I was like, holy shit, this is actually getting super hype. Look at him, dude. 1% all unleashed. Ding the bio fucking ball. We're making a fool of ourselves. There it is! That's our twin tail, dude! She just instantly takes out like 20. Mm-hmm. She just blushed it? She did! Bro is underneath the pile of trash with a little bit of fucking orange peels on his head. He says, nice. And then she gets rizzed up. Why? Because no one ever complimented her. Her dad never said good job. But we are the dad that stepped up. Stepfather Riz telling her good job. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Heart rate's going up, dude. Get it, get it. <laughs> too good, too good. I I don't think there's anything romantic here, though. I I I I don't think there's anything romantic here. It would be very creepy if someone that's like 30 plus year old is hanging out with like a 15 year old, 16 year old, you know, doing some shady shit. But like, I think that in terms of like a father figure, for sure, I think Kafka could be. <laughs> Nice, nice. But like, let's get serious. These are, you know, trash mobs. Reno's the other really strong guy, right? Sorry, Reno's our team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Hi. This kid is proving me wrong. Before I said, how is he going to be able to keep up, right? 
but he's already like surpassing other like high recruits already. Like he is kind of naturally talented, huh? Even customizing. Let's go, Reno. This is a good development of this character because I was getting afraid of how he might be just left behind because obviously Kafka just like super monster form, right? It's like, how is he going to be able to do it? But his entire thing is like, I need to get stronger so Kafka doesn't have to transform. That's like, aw, what a, what a junior. He's like the most wholesome junior. I like his persona. And then this is like a super rookie too, yeah? I see, I see, I see. So when Hoshina said go out there and surprise your senpai, it wasn't really directed specifically to Kikoru or Kafka, but every one of our cohort, our new recruits, right? Because we do have a pretty good generational talent. Here. What a pussy thing to say. What's going on with those guys? I'm losing my self confidence here. What? You want the rookies to not be strong so then you can be like power tripping and like have, have your ego not be crushed? What, 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 what the fuck is the logic in that line, bro? What's such a loser mentality? And they're all like competing against each other too. Mm. <laughs> Cougar mode! Hey, yo! We got a predator here! <laughs> okay. We got the senpai who is uh, just looking to haze new recruits. Cougar mode, huh? Mm, okay, hag. <laughs> we got a hag predator, dude. <laughs> Don't let her see what 7th Prince anime is. Oh my goodness. Do not let her be around Lloyd. The other NPC recruits, yeah. <laughs> But, but let's let's get serious. The Yoji doesn't matter. He's like literally trash fodder. And we should be expected to take him. And this is good. We're just warming up. When is the real threat showing up? Zero kills. Let's go, Reno! Transform. Alright, give him knowledge, support. That's right. You got your own role to play. Play that utility support role. It's going dumpster diving. Yeah, the janitor, you know, Dewey uh, team could also use this and clean up faster. What? Alright, weak spot found. It's the neck. See? He's got his own role to play. He's useful like this. Which means... Wait, what? Okay. This is very valuable. And that is great that he has his own usefulness here. But like, let's get serious. Do you expect him to just like remain this kind of role for the rest of the show? I hope not. I want him to go to monster mode and for the team to accept him in monster mode. If you want like a biologist just like giving, you know, support utilities type in the role. I, I get it, but this is like a Shonen Jump series. There's, there's no way that it's just going to remain like this, right? Okonoki chan I just don't know how. There needs to be, we need to handle that very delicately. Will that ever happen? Beats me. Not in this season, at least. A Shonen Jump series also go for a really super long time, right? So who fucking knows, but we'll see. <laughs> JSDF, more military strikes. Man, it literally looks like we're doing no damage. Oh, what the fuck is this? Mina was getting in position. She's ready to do Soga King, right? What is her suit power output? Because we haven't seen that just yet. What is the highest number we've seen so far? It's Kikoru, right? At like 50 something percent, I think. We don't know Mina's full suit output yet. Okay, let's see. Holy shit! Sugeki! 
She thought about that now? Really? She still thinks about Kaf- I mean, we know that she did, but like, in this moment, she thanks to Kafka. Hmm. Kafka, you watching? Oh, she wants to flex! She wants to flex on Kafka right now to see how great I am. Well, not really like flexing to like say I'm better than you, but seeing like, look how far I've come. I'm waiting for you kind of deal. One shot. One shot. 96? 96? Holy shit! This, because like the highest we've seen so far is Kikuru at 55. She's at 96, dude! Oh! Fire! One shot! Boom! I can't believe Hoshina was fucking commentating, narrating the entire time. Yo, Kafka, you watching? That's the type of power. <laughs> you try to fucking stab his side, but hey! In his kaiju mode, if he fucking one punch this, right? Look, the point of contact here, this is sick. But if Kafka were to punch in his monster form, I think that we wouldn't even see the remainder of the corpse right now. But if he punched, I bet the entire thing would have just fucking disintegrated and then raining blood at 96% though. Holy fuck. Suck around! Oh! just ended it our roles were to just do janitor duty while she just got in position to snipe two shots clean third shot chill <laughs> did you hear the fucking other person as soon as she said third third round the other person was like oh roger <laughs> My head cannon, but the only reason she's going for a third shot right now is just because Kafka's around and she wants to really look nice in front of him. That's my understanding of the situation. Fourth round! Oh, also, another question I have. This weapon right here. Remember last episode? We were talking about how there are these numbered kaijus, right? They're such exceptional beings that they had to be raided. And... These monsters are so OP that once they're defeated, we make weapons out of it. Is this snipe a kaiju weapon? You know what I mean? I, I don't know. It, it, it looks pretty fucking OP. Maybe we haven't really seen a kaiju weapon yet, but this is probably one of the strongest fucking weapons we've seen so far, right? <laughs> Hell no, it just hypes him up more. Oh, but he can, though. And he can do that, can't he? We haven't seen him fight yet, but he is the person that's closest to Mina right now. We haven't seen him fight just yet, and people have been glazing this motherfucker. What is he about? I need to see him fight. Really? <laughs> Maybe he's being humble, right? What are you specialized in? Small, medium size. No! Stop! He did the fucking enemy swordsman said, You know, you go... <laughs> so fucking good, dude. <laughs> Look how fast it was. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Small, medium range? That's where he excels at. Long time clan of kaiju hunters. Okay. Special equipment tailored to them. That, that's a fifth shot. That, that's a fucking fifth shot. The Mina went for a fifth shot there. <laughs> and then. <laughs> I wonder if Mina saw that Hoshina was flexing in front of Kafka and then she got jealous and she's like, Motherfucker, all right, here's a fucking fifth shot. Give the order. Ryukai, fire! 
This episode is literally both captain and the vice captain trying to flex on Kafka. The fucking most quote unquote not useless, but in terms of KDA, like he has nothing, right? Like it's just it's the captain and the vice captain trying to be like, look at me. Like boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, the reproductive organs or some shit. More trash coming. CGI looks pretty smooth though. That's so many? Mines? Bombs. I don't know. We are? What about the mushroom? <laughs> Alright, senpai, show me how the cleanup duty is done. The cougar! <laughs> the predator. She got her eyes fucking set on the new recruit. Wait, 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 sorry. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. The soundtrack. The bass is so powerful. Yeah, this is honestly not that like a hard of a mission, right? 20 to 30 is where they top out usually. <laughs> nice pause. Um, I don't know if Kafka would become a captain. I would like Reno to become a captain like Ichikawa and some of the other super rookies. Kafka? I want him to be like fucking... Like, you know how Eren Jaeger is treated, right? He's like a special fucking weapon that they release sometimes. I need something like that for Kafka. Don't you think that's like the most intuitive thing to happen? Somehow they're going to figure out that he's a monster. Somehow some people will vouch. And then by doing so, then they'll be able to utilize him. And instead of Kafka becoming captain, he's like fucking special squadron member or some shit, right? That would be fucking sick, dude. Or like, you know, in like Attack on Titan, like Levi squad is like, you know, um, they're separate special group. Like if there's like a specialist group, like, oh, oh, I'd be just fucking eating that shit up, dude. Ishikawa? No, really? Hoshina? Hoshina? The one more here is Hosh I'm sorry, so Hoshina says Ichikawa right here. I, I have disrespected Ichikawa, dude. I thought that he was going to get left behind super quick, but he's like rising up. He's like the fastest rising rookie right now. So like of all the recruits, that one that he mentioned is just, 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 just Kikoru and Ichikawa. Not the other dudes that's like, you know, being hunted by the fucking MILF right now. But it's just like Itsuka and Kikoru. That kind of, that's kind of crazy comparison. Like these are the only two that Hoshin has his eyes on. And then there's this red haired guy that just keeps lagging behind. Is Iharu's only role literally to be someone that should have been stronger than Ichika, but then gets left behind? Like, like so far, that's his entire role. Like, this dude shows up and then he's trying to be all cool and trying to like flex on Ichika, and then Ichika just like outdoes him. And then Ichika doesn't even look at him as competition. He's just trying to better himself while this dude just keeps looking after Ichika's back. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's watching us? What is this camera angle, bro? Monster sweepers. No, 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 This is just a dude that's infiltrated into our monster sweeper. Remember the guy that transformed into our Jenner squad? Ah! Phase 2 incoming. He's gonna give rise to more, you know? What is he trying to do? He loaded them up with the reproduction organs. So they were not normally spawned with the reproductive organs. This dude provided it. That's even more sinister. Holy shit. He's going around making all the kaijus that become stronger and stronger. Run! That's the episode, man. This episode was fucking hype. Our first actual combat mission going out after training, and so far, no deaths. Fingers crossed. Everything is going fine, right? Kafka, he is obviously not... I mean, he has some funny moments, right? When we were jumping off the building, he was, like, slowly climbing down. When, you know, it was the fight was about to happen, he's like, damn, I feel all oh, so calm. Then he unleashed all 
of the one percent of the power he has and then immediately got bodied by the smaller monsters but hey he provided his assistance by providing you know using this knowledge over the kaiju saw that there's reproductive organs and that was clutch right this kind of this kind of information is clutch it's just i want him to do this and more imagine if he's in monster form just fucking shit up and also providing knowledge on top of that he would be such a valuable asset to our you know defense force right here mina was fucking hard flexing I, it's not my head cannon right the reason that mina was shooting so many rounds yes it's important to take the other thing out but i feel like because she looked at kafka and had those memories it feels like she wanted to look extra good for kafka right just to show him this is who i am now can you really compete with me i'm waiting for you hoshina as well dude he actually did something bro was like shing the classic anime swordsman shit. He excels at like small, mid-range, you know, size kaijus. And Mina is like big, big kaiju destroyer. And Kafka, I think he can just do everything, right? Now, other feats here. I guess Ichika. Ichika Reno has like the fastest rising rookie. Kikuru obviously is like a super prodigy. But in terms of like other like... I I'm not sure if non-prodigy is the right word. But other people aside from Kikuru who is really rising up... Everyone's got their eyes on Reno. It kind of sucks that Iharu's like only role is to basically just be an astonishment of Ichikawa and just kind of chase after him just to kind of highlight his growth. But I mean, everyone's got a role to play. And at the very end, we see that dude that was in the training arc, right? He gave rise to all the different monsters. And he's the one that actually like provided the reproductive organs, which is crazy. I thought these monsters already had it, but nah, he's trying to make them better and better. Next episode, is Ichikawa in danger? Is Kafka gonna have to turn into monster form and save everybody? Only one way to find out. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.